channel. My name is Stephanie. I am 24. I post super inconsistently, so like maybe like two, three times every two years. And I'm 12 weeks pregnant. So pretty much I found out that I was pregnant when I was always burping. Oh man. Excuse me. I found out that I was pregnant at four weeks, which I feel like is pretty early, but I don't know. Um I guess because my mom found out at three months <laughs> when she was Okay, so I guess I th uh, I feel like four weeks is early because my mom found out when she was like three weeks, like, I mean three months, right? Yeah, three, yeah, I remember. She's so beautiful. So, I like I, I love you too. At uh, four weeks, I like knew but I didn't know. So what like tipped me off was my face. I've had like pretty good control over my skin for like a while now. And my face started breaking out, like, my face just started breaking out. And I was like, this isn't, like, normal. Like, it wasn't anything super, super crazy, but it was, like, on my forehead, and I'm not used to that. So just, like, a bunch of bumps just showed up on my forehead, and I was like, hmm? Body aches, my back was aching, and, like, usually I'll have back pain, especially, like, when it's, like, around, like, the time that I'm supposed to get my period. My back will start hurting, but, like, my face was breaking out really bad, like, Okay, so like when my period's coming, like I'll get like one breakout or like two, but like my forehead was covered and then my back was hurting and then there was a chocolate milk commercial and <clears throat> it disgusted me. Like I was like, that looks disgusting. There's something wrong here. Um, what else? I was cramping, but like that's kind of normal before I get my period too. But it was just like all those things combined, like all those things put together was just like, this is this is weird. So I got a pregnancy test from the dollar store and like the line came out super faded. There was definitely a line there. I can't see it now. Maybe I was just going crazy. But there was definitely a line there. Like it was super, super faded though. But I was like, there's definitely a line here, but like this has to be like fake because it's from the dollar store and... Like, there has to be something wrong with it. So the very next day, that was September 27th. September 28th. Excuse me. September 28th, I went about my day. I went to work. As soon as I got to work, I went straight to Rite Aid. And I got a Rite Aid digital test. I think it was, I'm pretty sure this was just like their Rite Aid brand. Um, that says either pregnant or not pregnant. And I took the test and it said pregnant. And I just started crying and... That was that. The very next day, I took the second test because, I don't know, um, I just had to, like, have that confirmation, and the second test said pregnant as well. I didn't know how to explain the emotions that I had. Like, I wasn't sad or, like, disappointed or anything. It was just like, this is weird. Like, what's going on? Me? Like, what? Like, this is actually happening? Like, I have someone in me right That's how it happened. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> I have something growing inside of me right now. Like, this is really weird. Like... There's something growing inside of me right now. Like, this is so weird. So, um, about a week later um, is when we decided to tell my parents. And that went really well. I was so scared that, like, I couldn't breathe. Like, my stomach was cramping because I was so scared. But that went really well. They're super excited. Um, I think a week after that, we told your mom, right? Like, a week later. Um, a week later, we told his family, and sh his mom's reaction was like, she was super excited. Serious? Serious? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so I found out at four weeks, I told my family at five weeks, I told... We told his family at seven, um, no, six weeks, and then at seven weeks, we um, had my first appointment. 
So at the first appointment, pretty much all they did was a sonogram. So like they didn't even take a, preg a pregnancy test to see if I was pregnant for sure. Um, they just did a sonogram. And if no one knows what that is, they like stick this thing inside of you. And then like they get to see the baby that way because I guess it's too small for them to do it like externally. Like an ultrasound. So in the sonogram, we got to see like... It pretty much just looked like a little blob, but it was still, like, confirmation, like, there's something there, it's growing, like, everything looks fine, it's going, like, it's progressing as it should at seven weeks. So, that was super special for us. Um, our moms came, but it was just me and him in the room. I'm always burping now. But, at around, like, five or six weeks, I was, like, kind of nervous just because a lot could happen. Um, so I was kind of, like... Why do I have no symptoms? So from like when I found out at four weeks to like six weeks, I was like, I have zero symptoms other than like my body aching and like my face breaking out, but that like pretty much stopped like quick. Um, and I had like zero symptoms. Like it was so weird. Um, I think at five weeks I was craving, um, I hate saying the name of this restaurant. Can I say it? Let me whisper to the camera. I hate saying, look, the thought of it makes me want to go. My baby was craving some Chick-fil-A um, and some some Shake Shack and just like anything with crispy chicken in general. She okay, was like, stop, stop, oh stop, man, stop, I need some of that crispy stop, chicken. Stop, but then after a while, she was like, oh man, no, I can't have it. And now anyway, she's like this. So, um, I was craving, if you guys heard what he said, I was craving that. And it was so good to me. But like the thought of it still now... Oh my god, it's bad. Like, I feel like crying. Like, it's so disgusting. Like, <sighs> the thought of it now, I can't. I need to eat sour candies. <laughs> mm. oh, this is so good. By seven weeks, the nausea, the morning sickness, the morning sickness, the morning sickness, the morning sickness. The morning sickness. The morning sickness hit me like, mm. it's not only in the morning, yo. It's the morning, the afternoon, at night. Like as soon as I wake up, the first five minutes I'm okay. Like once my body realizes, like, yo, like this is happening, it hits me and it just sticks, like all day. So, like, the thought of, like, I feel miserable. And, like, I feel bad when I say that, but, like, I feel miserable because the thought of eating anything, like, the thought of food, the thought of, like, consuming anything sounds disgusting to me. Until I find that one thing, which is rare, that sounds super bomb. But, like, super bomb. Other, than, other than that, like, it's just, the thought of food is just, like, it breaks my heart. Like, I don't like thinking about food. Like, I'd rather, if I could go my entire day without having to think of, like, a meal, that'd be great. But, like, I know I have to feed the baby, and I know that I have to, like, nourish myself and the baby. So, it, like, gets really hard, and, like, I get emotional about it, because I feel like I'm doing something, like, harmful, even though I'm not. Like, I spoke to the doctor about it, and she said that because I was eating, like, a standard healthy diet before that my body has the nutrients that the baby would need so like anything like if I don't not saying that I could sh like I'm able to starve myself but if I don't eat like full meals throughout the day for like a little bit like I'm or like I don't eat like super consistently I'm okay because the baby will take the nutrients that it needs from like my body so that made me feel a little better but like at the same time if I the thought of food makes me nauseous, but if I don't eat, like, the nausea, the nausea progresses. It's so hard and so, like, makes me feel miserable. I feel like one of my biggest problems is that my food isn't digesting. So when I eat something, I'm constantly burping. Like, throughout the day, I'm constantly burping. But if I don't, I mean, as soon as I eat something, like, when I burp, like, it just, like, I can feel the chunks of food sliding back up my chest and out of my throat and it's such an uncomfortable disgusting feeling like tmi yo it's pregnancy right at first i was just getting super nauseous like all the time and i wasn't throwing up but then i eventually started vomiting and like 
at the beginning when I was vomiting, it was literally just like liquid. So like, I can't, I would only, anyone that knows me, anyone that worked with me, my family, like when I would go over their house, I would always bring a jug of water or like a big bottle of water because primarily all I would drink was water. Occasionally tea or like almond milk, sometimes juice, but like diluted with a bunch of water and then like co like iced coffees and stuff like that but like sodas never just like straight water <laughs> now the thought of water makes my stomach hurt like if i drink water it physically makes my stomach hurt i can't drink anything on an empty stomach because it will just come right back up so i have to try to eat like small meals that are like salt like even if i have like applesauce or like an apple that turns into mush I need something like solid in my stomach but like it's so hard to find something to eat so now I'm starting to throw up like food and it's frustrating like today I had a tuna melt I made myself two tuna melts because I was like y'all like today I'm gonna eat like this sounds good to me so we went to the store I bought wraps excuse me I made myself two tuna melts and like I loved these before I was pregnant and like they were good today too but I don't know how to explain it when I was eating it, like, when I eat stuff now, like, I taste it extra. So, like, I taste it, like, you, yesterday when I was eating the ice cream, it tasted like chemicals to me. That's why I didn't finish it. Like, I was eating, like, the, the chocolate chunks, but, like, when I eat ice cream, it tastes like, like, chemicals or something. And it's not only the ice cream. But, as I was eating it, like, as I'm eating, I constantly have to stop because, like, I feel like I'm gonna, like, vomit. Today, I had to get up and, like... TMI alert like this whole video is gonna be a TMI but like I had to get up and it was like I was vomiting and I, I guess I'm just not used to the feeling of like actually vomiting because like it was something that I rarely happened to me but I felt the chunks sliding up from my chest up to my throat and like out of my, like it was like if I was I was just regurgitating everything that I had just chewed like there was no digestion happening like there was no like liquids coming out with it it was just like straight up chunky everything that I just swallowed came was coming up and like it was a lot of it like my stomach literally just pushed everything that I had just chewed and just like pushed it out and it was freaking disgusting it was super uncomfortable it made me feel super miserable and like every time I throw up like my eyes just start tearing and I just start crying it was just such a miserable feeling and like a miserable experience so I don't know everyone says that by your second trimester everything should just like magically disappear and you shouldn't not feel magically. nauseous anymore I'm not there quite huh not magically disappear. Mm, I don't know you can either start feeling better. you can either start feeling better but like this week was worse like I'm feeling worse like my second I'm uh, week 12 like I felt nauseous literally from seven weeks to now and I'm 12 weeks but this 12th week it's like it's getting worse and it's so freaking weird like I don't know like this 12th week is just like it has been so hard so hopefully like by like 13 week 13 to like 14 like I feel better because I know that some women experience the nause the nauseousness throughout their entire pregnancy and if that's me yo, I'm screwed I've literally lost weight being pregnant so far because it's so hard for me to eat and then when I do eat I just like everything comes back up and then like if I do eat and like I don't vomit it's like after the first or second bite like I feel so uncomfortably full like it's just like super frustrating and weird I did go to the doctor and like speak to her about it and she was gonna give me a prescription for my nausea but Tell me why the pharmacy called me and was like, um, your prescription is $350, so you might want to talk to your doctor. I was like, God damn, what? And I asked her, are there any side effects with this medicine? And she was like, no, you, it either works or it doesn't. I'm not paying $350 for it to either work or not work. And then if there are other medications that I can take over the counter, I don't want that to affect the baby. Like, I don't want to be taking something that could affect me or the baby. So I'd rather just like go through this pregnancy with the nausea, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't want to take something that could harm the baby or like, because 
she, the doctor can tell me there's not going to be any negative side effects, but I don't want to take the risk. Like, she could tell me whatever she wants to tell me. I don't know. Anyway, what's been my ish? Sour candies. These are like little sour patch kid things. These are so bomb. Sour candies are my friend. I know I shouldn't be eating too much sugar. The sour candies help me with my nausea. They taste so good. They just make me happy. Um, I don't eat too much of them. Yeah. Let me not say that. But I'm eating them right now. What else? Anything that oh, me being out of breath. I'm so out of breath, like, all the time. Um, at the beginning, from, like, four to, like, seven or eight weeks, I was exhausted. Like, I would literally go to work. Like, barely be able to wake up in the morning, go to work, be exhausted, come home, eat something and knock out. And I still do that. But, like, I was so exhausted that I was dragging myself. Now, I definitely got so much more energy back. Around, like, I'm going to say, like, maybe 9 to 10 weeks I got my energy back. Um, I just still feel, like, super, like, weak sometimes because I'm not eating as much as I should. Oh my god, I just can't stop burping. I have my energy back, um, but I'm just so out of breath. Like, just talking makes me out of breath. Um, walking, like, doing anything just makes me so out of breath. And it's just, like, annoying because I'm in the middle of talking. And just, like, I have to stop to breathe. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't know if there's anything else that's super, like, crazy symptoms or anything like that. Um... Alright, well, this is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. If you guys are interested in seeing more videos, leave a comment down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it.